Okay, not sure where we cut off there, but I'm not sure if you saw Tyler's last shot or not, but Tyler going really high and barely getting the six pin out. Leaving the seven pin only, and he converts the spare, and he's got about a... Fourteen pin lead. Camera timed out at 30 minutes, so we're back on part two. Oh, and someone said, there you go, and the ball jumped across the lane. He was looking for a double there. Leaves a 6-10. Easy spare for him. Just going to throw a plastic ball right in the general direction of it. You hit the left side of the 6-pin or right in between the 6 and 10. You just don't want to miss this right. Picking up the 4-pin earlier in this match. Shouldn't have any problem with this. And he converts. Bowlers, if you're paying attention, uh, throw a plastic at that spare, you have less chance to chop it. If the ball is hooking when it gets down to that spare, you will miss it more times than not. Okay, Kirsten back up on uh, frame number 9. A 115 with an open in the 8. This match has gotten very tight. Tyler taking a 1-pin lead last frame. That ball has to move. Uh-oh, and it moved too much, and she leaves the washout. She leaves the 1-2-4-10. To pick up this, she just needs to do what she did a couple of frames ago, picking up the one, two, four, and sending the one right across to the other side and get the 10 pin right off the wall. Okay, Kirsten needs to spare to keep the pressure on Mr. Satter. It's got a good chance, got a hook, got a hook. Oh, almost gets it off the back. So Kirsten goes back to back, opens 124 in the ninth. Okay, Tanner working on his spare. Tanner putting together a great game here, but unfortunately, Tyler just throwing a better one right now. Tyler up by about 12, 14. Tanner looking in the ninth frame. This is called the foundation frame. He strike here. He got a chance to double in the tenth. Big shot. Oh, that's got a hole. Oh, and he doesn't get the cruise carry, and he leaves the four pin. So Cruz getting all the breaks right now. Tanner fighting. Tanner's still got a great chance to win this thing. Tanner needs to spare it up. His max will be 232. Tyler can spare out for 235. Nine spare, nine spare, nine. 234. Could get very close. Tyler just needs to stay out of trouble. Oh, four pin. Got to get it. Okay, gets the four pin. Nice shot, Tanner. Okay, Tyler, this is his foundation frame. He can pretty much put this tournament away with a strike here and a strike in the tent. Strike here in the ninth, and a strike in the tenth puts him at 246 with nine spare in his fill. Pretty much a double to win here. Well, when you need a double, you need to throw the first one first. Alright, here we go. Ball's going high. Oh, how does it fit? Between that pin. He leaves a very, very common 386. And not, not too difficult on this spare. You can either hit the left side of the two pin and have the ball take out the eight pin, or you can. That's what I think the best way to shoot it. Or you can try to send the three over to the eight. Uh, the problem with going at it at a hook is your whisk can only get in one. Count is big. He's going to hook at it. Oh, and he almost gets a great break and gets it off the, the back. But wow, a big, big open by Tyler. Tyler's still having a one pin lead. Okay, Satter up. Satter's in the driver's seat with a, his eight pin lead right now. Or, yeah, eight. 
no, four, 12 pin lead. Oh, and a great, good, oh, good. Got the seven out, almost a dangerous seven ten there. We've seen him be a great spare shooter all all match, so he should be able to take care of the 10 pin. We've only seen him shoot the six and the six ten. Now well, let's see if he can't convert the 10 pin. Okay, that, that looks pretty good. He's got that, all right. Kind of gives it a fist pump there, but Max is at 183 and, uh, or 193, 150, 160, 71, oh no, 193, and the best Kyrgyz can do is 192. Nine to win, or no, 10 to win. You're good. 10 to win. Oh, and we have a possible tie. Possible tie. Okay, finished 192. Kirsten can time with three strikes here in the 10th. Okay, Kirsten must strike here to keep the match alive. Gotta get this one, gotta get this one. Go, 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 go. Oh, and she hits the pocket finally and she leaves a seven bin. Tough break, it was a great shot. Tyler's gonna win the title today. Kirsten taking a nice second, not too shabby performance. A $100 scholarship. Tyler winning a $200 scholarship. We're gonna see an exciting finish in the scratch division. I know we are. Okay, Kirsten finishing now in good fashion, spares it up. She's gonna have a good chance to go throw a perfect shot here. I'll tell you, there's nothing like throwing a perfect shot when you've already lost the tournament. Just go up there and just throw the best shot possible. You leave happy. Well, maybe not super happy, but you do leave happy. Okay, come on, Joe Fox. That's why you're hanging around. Oh, and another seven pin, but nice performance by Kirsten. Nice ball, Kirsten. Choosing to go up first. Kind of wants to get out of here. Go up and throw his strike and move on. Tanner's first shot in the 10th frame. That looks pretty good. Oh, and it's a great shot. 8-pin wanted to stay up, but there is no way it's standing up. Tanner taking care of business in the first shot in the 10th frame. Let's see if Tyler's going to throw his first shot. Tyler's shaking his head. I don't know what's wrong here. Maybe he's watching the Oregon game. Yeah, watching the Oregon game, shaking his head. Looks like Oregon's going to go down the field and score against Cal and stay number one. Cal missing a field goal to go up 16 to 15. Ooh, tough one. Okay, Tanner up, but Tyler's still in the driver's seat. This is a big shot, though. Tanner forces Tyler to throw a double. Got a hold, got a hold. Oh no, and he leaves the 10 pin. It was a great shot. Maybe a bad rack, maybe a little late getting to the pocket. Leaves the 10 pin and, oh man, we have a chance of a tie here. Tyler could go nine spare, nine strike, nine out. Anything can happen. This is a big spare. Even though it's just one pin, it's a big spare. Picks it up and a great, great finish, 222. Nice shot, man. Tyler, which title is that? Is that second? Is that your second title? Is that your second title? Oh, you're, oh I thought it was your... I thought you had one. Well, congratulations. Well, you've led one tournament before and didn't win it. That's right. Oh, you tried to give it away. Yeah. 
Okay. Mr. Cruz up, and this is what Mr. Cruz does. Strike here puts him in a great position. All he's got to do is fill up the, the tent. Strike nine spare, and he's a winner by one. Pounding. <laughs> it fell right when you hit the desk. Tyler's grandmother giving him some help there carrying that seven pinch. Pounded the counter and it fell right at the same time. All right, well, Tyler just needs to stay out of trouble here. He needs to go with anything. He needs 10 pins the next two balls. Or a strike to shut him out. Uh, that stays up and he spares and he throws nine. We got a tie game here and a one ball roll off, but it did not stay up. And now we're looking at a shot for the title. One shot for the title. Coming in on the 42nd minute of this match. One shot for the title. Looks pretty good. Oh, oh and he had all the breaks this game. All the breaks. Guess that's how it's done. Perry. Where's Perry? Perry. One, two. One day you won't have to do it when you're in the winner's circle. Okay, that concludes our. That includes our JPT tournament for today for this afternoon in the scratch division. We had Tyler Cruz edging out Tanner Spacey 233 to 222. A great match. Tanner taking the runner-up prize. Second place slack. Hundred dollars. Second place slack and a hundred dollars. Stupid man. Dear runner. Uh, dear Your runner up in the scratch or the handicap division, Kirsten Richards, one hundred dollars scholarship. <laughs> Winning his fifth career JBT title, Tyler Cruz, a two hundred dollars scholarship. <laughs> What a day the handicap division winner had. He led the tournament from game number two. It is also his 18th birthday today. He wins his first career JBT title. And Kirsten says it's okay. It's okay, he won. Tyler Satter, congratulations. Thank you to everybody who stuck around and watched the finals. Thank you, Perry, for giving out the blast. One day you'll be in the winner's circle. And I need the winners. I need the winners of each division, please.